All right. Hi, everybody. This is Ace of Fan Ben, and I finally finished my campaign game, Command the Oceans. So hopefully, I'm going to be doing more videos over the next four or five weeks. Um, it's going to be an interesting time as I transition from playing the game all the time to doing a lot of other, you know, piratical activities. So I'm looking forward to it a lot, though. I'm pretty excited about it. So right now, this is going to be a video just about making a fleet from scratch. Um, I know a lot of people have asked about in the podcast survey and the video survey about my thoughts behind some of the fleets I've made. So I'm just going to do kind of like an introductory how to build a fleet real quick. It's not going to be super detailed. So I'm on miniature trading right now on the main menu. You can go to community and you go down to armies, which in this case is fleets. Um, because obviously it's a naval game, not a land game. And then you go down to pirate CSG. 1400 armies or fleets the most on the site and then you can see the the ones that have been most recently created or commented or voted on here and then you can see the best candidates for um, fleet of the week and then up here there's the button called build your own fleet so I'm just going to click on that and then it comes so now we have your building your fleet page so I'm just going to fleet name I'm just going to type in fleet exercise and then I'm not worried about the description yet. I like to update it right away because there's two search buttons, but the second, the first one doesn't appear, um, or the quick add, I should say, doesn't appear until you put like a, you update it with a fleet name or whatever. So now you have the search engine, which I'm going to use. Usually I use quick add. Like if I was looking for a ship, I could find it right here, like Lake Pluton. Um, but I'm gonna make a fleet from scratch. So I'm gonna to go to miniature search engine and then I'm gonna start with the first ship. I'm just gonna hit add miniatures. And then this takes you to basically the search for a miniature function at MT, but here it's within the confines of building a fleet. So I'm gonna say, let's say I wanna build a French fleet. So I'm gonna to go to France and then I'll type, for the type I'll do a ship because that's what I'm finding first and then I'm just going to build like a basic beginner 40 point fleet, nothing too special. So I'm going to have a gunship, at least one gunship, then at least one gold runner, and then hopefully I'll have some points left over at the end. So I'll do a gunship first, let's say four mass, because I want to have a decent amount of cannons, search for a miniature. Then I'll show up with all French ships that have um, at least four masts in t the entire game, basically. And then I like to do extended format usually, because then you don't have to click on each one to see what it is. So then you can see all the different ships that show up, and then you have all the options. You can also, um, it's a premium function, I guess, but you can also search for only miniatures you have in your collection based on your haves list here. I have most of these ships anyway, and then also if you didn't have them, you could play on the Vassal module um, to use them regardless. So I'll pick one out here. Le Leon isn't a great gunship. Um, the cans are 3S, but I kind of like how it could be a hybrid. I think it's kind of underrated, so I'll go ahead and pick this one. Got a boarding bonus, decent move, um, very good cargo. A little pricey for what you get, but I think it's a pretty fair deal. It's a ship I like, so I'm going to add this to my fleet. Um, and then down at the bottom, I usually do, if it's the same ship, you're going to add crew right after. You can hit add miniatures and repeat. Um, if you're done with that section, like ship number one in the fleet area, you would hit um, add miniatures and finish. And then here, looks like it automatically went back to ship for some reason. But now I'm just going to go and type crew. So for a gunship, I usually like to have a captain and helmsman aboard. So I'm going to do both of those. So this comes up with all different captains, and I see a French one from Crimson Coast, so I'll add that. And then I'm also going to add a Helmsman, because I want more speed on the Leon, and she's going to still have some cargo space left over to maybe get gold or raid an enemy gold runner. Um, so then I'm going to do Helmsman, quickly find a French one, um, in this case also from Crimson Coast. I like using original generic crew, it just feels better to me. Probably because I got on the game with the original set. So, and then let's say admin has been finished. This brings you back to your page, and then now I have those three game pieces under ship number one. So now I have Leon with a captain and helmsman for 19 points. So that's about half my build total. Now I've got a solid hybrid. 
um, that's going to function as the flagship of my fleet. Free cargo space is left over for gold, maybe to get at an island, or with that boarding bonus and the schooner keyword, um, this would be a pretty good ship to raid enemy gold runners with too. So that's my first ship. And then sometimes I like to update um, intermittently just because the site can be a little weird um, with not saving changes. Usually it's fine, but I like to update often just in case. And then, so now for ship number two, I just want to, I definitely want to have a gold runner. So I'm going to add miniatures. Once, I'm gonna, once again, I'm going to go back to the French specifically. It's going to be a French ship. Um, let's say I want this to be based on cargo now, because this is going to be my main gold runner. Um, actually, let's say speed, because the Leon also has five. So let's go base move of S plus L and just see if I can get one that I like here. And you can do super narrow search criteria. You can go France with cargo space five. SL speed with two mass, and that would bring up like Le Favori, which is a ship I've been thinking about. I might use that as the gold runner, but maybe I'll um, find something else though. And then sometimes I don't know why it's dead, but so now it'll bring up extended format all the different French ships in the game that have SL speed. So this gives you a lot of different options. I'm looking for something that's not super expensive because um, I've already got 19 points in my fleet, and I'd like to have three ships rather than two. So I'm not trying to fill out the build total quite yet. So I'm going to look through here. Life of Ori is a good option. Um, has a nice defensive ability. Five spaces open, good speed. That's a pretty good gold runner for the French. It's pretty expensive though, so I might try to find something cheaper. And the Labellul uh, might be their best um, in this search criteria, but I'm going to go with Le Triton, however we pronounce it. This one I like quite a lot. I talked about in the schooner rankings that uh, were le released by God Mason a couple days ago. Uh, it can't be pinned. Good speed, good cargo, um, solid cannons. Um, this is a ship I like a lot. It's underrated, so I'm going to give her a little more attention here. So I'm going to hit add miniatures and repeat because I am going to add some crew. Um, I might actually just go with two hybrids, actually. I think I'm going to do that. And then here, I'm going to go crew. I'm going to go French, and then search, and you can do, you, there's different ways of doing this, so, actually I should have done captain, that would make it easier to find it, so yeah, I was originally going to go with a gold runner and a gunship, kind of a generic build, but I'm kind of, kind of going off a little bit, a little bit different, so I'm going to do two hybrids, I think, and then maybe one small support ship, assuming I have points left over. So I'm going to add a captain and helmsman to the Triton. Um, I think that's a pretty good crew setup because then the ship will be quite fast at SLS speed, and then um, and then it'll still have three spaces left over for gold, just like the Leon. Then I'll have seven masts too between the first two ships, which is decent durability. So I got a French helmsman, and then that's it for that ship. So I'm going to hit finish, add miniatures, and finish. And then, so now I have 34 points in my fleet, um, so I have 6 left over if I'm going to 40. So now to fill out the points, um, I'm just going to update to make sure it works. So now I have 2 hybrids, I have the Leon with the Captain Helmsman, 3 spaces left over, ready to fight. Uh, the Triton is a little bit more of a gold runner. This ship might drop the captain at a wild island, um, or even leave it at home when the game starts to open up a cargo space, and then she might pick the captain up later on once um, some of the best gold has been claimed. So then I've got six points left. Knowing that, I'm going to search for miniatures again, and this time I'm going to look at French ships. I'm going to start... I'm doing this totally offhand. I don't know what I'm going to do here, so this will be interesting. So I'm going to look at French ships that cost six points just to see if there's any that I would want to add as a support ship empty without adding any crew. So there's only three, basically only two. Le Bon Marine, which I probably will just go with just to finish off the fleet. The Floating Stone is not nearly as good a ship. Um, but just, just to check it out, I'm going to go to four points. French ships that cost four points, which is really cheap, so there's not going to be many. The Lizard, I know. Oh, and then the Marianne, yep. So those are both okay. The Lizard especially is pretty decent. 
Um, and then I, I searched four because I figured a, chi a ship this cheap would probably need a Helmsman, like the Lizard. Um, could use a Helmsman, or you could use your empty. For the six points, you could get the Lizard, um, which is a decent empty gold runner. And then you could also get the Coeur du Lion for two points, and then you could have four ships. But I'm just going to go back to this six point search here, add the Bone Marine. I like to have, I know I can't have any crew, so I'm going to finish. I know I like to have two, I like to have two gold runners and one gunship rather than two gold gunships and one gold runner. And I talk about that on my website on Weebly because uh, if you only got um, one gold runner, if your opponent prioritizes that ship and knocking it out of the game, you're going to have a very difficult time winning. So it's better to go a little bit heavier on the gold. So, and also in terms of points, the gunship. Sometimes your gunship um, will cost as many points as any other gold runners combined. So, especially in a 40 point game or smaller games in general. So, now I've got my fleet, um, fleet exercise. The French just built a random fleet from scratch, only took me a few minutes. I've got the Lyon, so I've got a hybrid. They can fight and get gold, maybe steal gold from enemy ships between the boarding bonus and the nice stern turn of the schooner keyword. I've got a, quite a fast hybrid here, too. Fastest ship in the fleet overall. Um, this one is also capable of doing a little shooting. Not great guns, but good enough to... They're serviceable. It's a good ship. Very good deal for the 10 points. This one can't be pinned, so this is another good ship to uh, board enemy gold runners with and steal gold. And like I said, I might leave the captain at home so I'd have four spaces open on the first trip. You could also put a, uh, an explorer on the Triton instead of the captain, maybe. Then you'd have two points left for maybe like a fire pot specialist on the Leon or something like that, or a helmsman on the Bone Marine. But uh, I don't know. I like I've always liked helmsmen better than explorers. I usually find them uh, more valuable, sometimes much more valuable. So, and then the last ship to fill out the points, um, perfect little gold runner, good speed cargo, and then this one has exploring built in. So then I'm gonna hit update one more time. And then you need a description, so I'll probably fill this out a little bit after, but I'm just going to say, um, this is the fleet I just made for a YouTube video. So this is basically how I could make a fleet from scratch if I was under a time pressure or if I was just a beginner, you know, trying to figure things out, how to use the search function in miniature trading. Um, and getting started with fleet making. So it's really not too difficult. Miniature trading is probably your best asset in terms of finding stuff to use. And then of course, if you have a limited collection or if you don't have all these ships, you could just do this in real life. You just sort by, I like to organize my collection by faction and then by ship size. And then you can just look at, oh, this one has good cargo and speed, like Le Favori. Maybe I could use it as a gold runner. And then let's say you find, um, You've got like HMS Gallows or something. You could use a mixed fleet and use that as your gunship or whatever. And then just you can just kind of mess around with the crew strategies and the crew options to get it to 40 points. Um, maybe adding another cheap ship at the end or something like that. So and then you can hit extended format to see the fleet, um, to see the fl full fleet with all the miniatures fleshed out. So this was how to make a 40 point fleet. Um, I'm probably going to do more fleet making videos um, in the future, and I will probably do some kind of um, some videos to kind of show off the fleets I've made and kind of give my thoughts behind them, because most of them, not really most of them, but some of them are a lot more complicated than this fleet, so I'll kind of elaborate on my thoughts behind them. And uh, But in the meantime, though, usually I type a much longer description that shows my thoughts behind making the fleet, other options I considered. Um, like why I'm going with that strategy, why the crew setups are the way they are, things like that. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with more videos.